C-spot is my second favorite passing play out of the shotgun bunch. And uh, it does a really good mix uh, when we talk about how we use this in combination with the play action post. Uh, some really interesting routes uh, and when they work really well together. So we're going to use the Z-spot here. Hot routes are very similar uh, to that from the PA post. We love to put uh, DeMarco Murray on that streak. And I really like to motion him over to the left side of the field. Uh, my next step is to take Jason Witten and put him on an in route. I don't use the slant pattern. I do use the in route 100% with Jason Witten. It works really well uh, with this deep post route to Des Bryant. And uh, what we want to do is the same thing, same, same read. Uh, we're going to read that uh, defensive end slash linebacker over here, uh, Jeremy Lane. And we're going to try to see if he's going to drop or if he's going to stay down. If he drops into the zone, we are going to hit DeMarco Murray. If he stays down, and man, then we're going to look to hit uh, Terrence Williams here. What I really also like to do with this every now and then, and I'll show you some trinkets later, is, is use this in combination with my running, de my running plays uh, to really have some deception with my offense. Here he drops back, and we're just going to hit DeMarco Murray right out of the snap and get a quick five, six yards. And this is, again, this, this is a really short passing system, uh, and, and we use a lot of trajectories and different things to, to make it a benefit. Um, but it really is an effective short passing offense uh, that we have here if they're going to give it to us. Now, if they take DeMarco Murray away and they, and may, they play man on him like they often do, uh, we're going to hit this in route as our second read. I mean, this is money against almost every, every defense in the game. Uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite routes uh, to use with my tight end, and I really enjoy it. Uh, I think it does a really good job against zone coverage. Uh, even if there is a guy in the way, typically you can use the pass leading system to get it open. The next read that we have here uh, is this little spot route underneath, and, and typically we're going to look left, and that, that tight end's going to pull him away, and Cole Beasley is going to get a lot of underneath yardage. I really love this offense for Cole Beasley. I think it features him really well. I think it shows his talent as a slot receiver really well, and you're going to see it again here. The spot, little dig route underneath, sits him under the defense really nicely, makes him look like a, a young Wes Welker every day, and I really enjoy that route to him and then the next read off of that is this deep deep post route to try to hit Des Bryant over the middle now this is not open all the time and typically this is going to be something that is more open when they start playing down on Beasley and they start taking Witten away in those underneath zone zone beaters but what you want to do is you want to pass lead down to the inside when he cuts and you it is typically it's a very sharp pass lead uh, a very precise play uh, this is a very difficult route and it takes a lot of precision to really get that in there but when you can stick it in there like that it's a back breaker, back breaker route that really really challenges the defense makes them think twice about playing zone coverage against you as well as coverage defense this will be man and zone here you're gonna see it again this is gonna be against the cover three the cover four in my opinion does the best against this as a as a, in a generic coverage and that's what we saw in the beginning here we're gonna look at a cover two and show you Here's the cover two, and you see we're going to have even more of a void uh, to fit that in there. We need to pass lead down, and I personally think that it is really efficient and effective to click onto your receiver and go make the, the catch as a user catch. Because of that right there, you see that the, the, the safety will come down on a cover two, just like it will on a cover four, and you have to take the ball uh, from the safety. Here we'll look at it one more time against the cover two that we've had a couple of bad plays against it and, and all is timing as well so you need to work this in practice mode if you're going to throw this it, it takes protection uh, and oftentimes you're not going to get to this route I promise you that you won't you're going to be hitting a lot of Cole Beasley on this play uh, you're going to be hitting a lot of Jason Witten but if you get into a pinch and you need this you, you want to slice it down the middle, and there we forgot to put our tight end on that end route, and so we didn't get the suck down uh, effect. Let's try this one more time. We are having a little issue with the cover two. And it's going to stick it right in there. And uh, we had a little trouble there. So the cover two so far has been kind of the main one that has uh, the ability to stop it, but let me just show you. Uh, we're going to run the cover two back, and let me show you everything else that's open on this cover two. First and foremost, we have the, the running back uh, out of the backfield for a quick game. 
easy, easy yardage. Um, second of all, uh, we'll have the tight end over the middle with that in route. And against cover two, here it is. There's Witten, quick five, quick six yards right there. Uh, if you if you get good pass leading, and I typically against cover two, I'll pass lead that route up uh, to take advantage because of where they're at. And then you see, thirdly, we have Cole Beasley sitting down for a quick 15-yard gain, 10 to 15-yard gain there. And so our first three reads are open because the cover two they they play more back. And so here we're going to show you that if the cover two starts to bite down, they start to take it overplay those underneath routes. Then all of a sudden. That route to Des Bryant is now open, and we can slide it right in the middle uh, right there. And then let me show you some man stuff, and this is why uh, I wanted to do all this until we get to man. The first thing we see here uh, is against man coverage, we're going to immediately look to Terrence Williams. Uh, this corner route uh, does a really good job at beating man um, if, uh, if you have a good pass lead. Z-spot, I will go ahead and tell you, is a primarily a zone play. Uh, the PA post, however, is primarily a man play. And so you see that those two in combination are going to work well off each other. Here's the in route to the tight end. Uh, it's still very effective against man coverage. Um, just, in my opinion, one of the better all-around routes in the game uh, to the tight end. And it's just a simple hot route. And then here, here's your corner route. We can drop it right over the top of the defense. Terrence Williams just needs to go make that catch. But you see that it does work. And then finally, the spot route to Cole Beasley will work, um, but it's not a always consistent. You want to pass lead it down uh, as if it was a curl route and there you see um, it does take a little bit of time to develop, develop especially if he gets pressed um, but it is effective. But finally this is this is where this really makes its money if we have to beat man coverage Des Bryant's route um, if we have enough time in the pockets lately the Seattle defense has been really doing some good uh, things up front to get pressure but let me show you this real quick we get the ball out to Des uh, over the middle and you see that this is a really good route uh, if you click on it and go make a play uh, for Des Bryant to utilize that and so again in combination with our running game uh, this is just a really effective play uh, that we can really do a lot with uh, here you're not going to really throw the ball to Terrence Williams if it is a zone uh, defense let me just show you if they maybe shade Williams to the outside, what you're going to see here, you're still going to have that separation, but he he will tend to undercut it. And if you notice that, then you're going to be able to, uh, you know, carve them up if they decide to continue to do that, uh, because the PA post has him going to the inside uh, as opposed to the outside. And here, uh, having some issues with the the, the defensive line. I want to show you this man beater to Williams here real quick shaded him outside and you see that it's covered and if it's covered you'll be able to hit this you know you'll be able to hit your underneath in route your your underneath uh, your your deep route to Witten and even your spot route so that's the Z spot that's how I like to use it uh, if you have any questions let me know uh, oh one other thing uh, remember how that if, if we use the, the the running system we like to motion Cole Beasley into this area right in here uh, and then if we run the counters typically we're gonna bring him all the way across the field to the right well this is a really good option with this play uh, because of all of that and so what we like to do here is uh, here let me show you one more time the run we like to bring him over and against the counter we'll bring him all the way over there sometimes as well and uh, we'll just use like uh, another blocker with a Z spot watch this we're gonna bring Cole Beasley across and you're gonna see that his route does not change when he comes out here and you see it's this, it's still gonna be the spot route and so this is a, a really good opportunity here uh, to do some cool things against the zone defense what we like to do is we like to take DeMarco Murray put him on a streak we like to take Jason Witten and put him on an in route. And this is normally okay, uh, but even even more, even one step further, we're going to put Terrence Williams on a curl. And against the zone, you see that DeMarco Murray is going to really, really slice up the defense against that zone. Um, you see that just that, that quick release. And against man coverage, you're going to see that the spot route is going to have good separation. You can pass lead that down. Another thing that's going to have good separation is this in route to Jason Witten. And you see there's a separation. It coming right down under. A lot of lead blockers there for him as well. Against zone coverage, 
Uh, we saw the DeMarco Murray route have good separation, and now we're going to show you that this route to uh, this route to uh, Terrence Williams is going to sit down in the zone, pass lead down curls, really effective, beats man and zone typically. You're going to obviously need to look there first, but do know that it is effective against the zone defense. And then finally, this is really, really effective when we talk about Des Bryant's route uh, because it really does a good job of sucking down those zones. Now you do need to wait long enough to throw it, but it's really effective. And this is just a really, really nice compliment to our running system because I think we're running the ball uh, like this, but then all of a sudden uh, we start passing the ball from this. And uh, you see that we bring those two little hot routes there, and I think they make a world of difference uh, as we can hit DeMarco Murray quick out of the backfield unattended for. So that's how we like to run the Z spot. Uh, just a couple more plays here uh, for this offense. Not very uh, intense as far as play selection, uh, but we do 